I'm going to roll on the skim coating mud and then wipe it down. I'm rolling it on with an inch and a quarter roller cover and just a regular paint pole and a handle. Already thinned the mud down a good amount and I'm just going to dip in the roller, get it all over it and then roll it out on the ceiling without making a mess hopefully. So you just want to get the joint compound up on the ceiling, probably doing about a three foot by five foot section at a time. And since this roller covers new, it's going to take a couple dips to get it good and saturated with the joint compound, but it'll get going and you can go a little further than it is the first couple rolls. So I'm just getting it up there. And like I said, once I get all the joint compound up there, I'll roll it all out to make it consistent. I like just dipping it in the bucket. It makes it a lot easier and quicker. You could use a roller pan, but it's gonna slow you down considerably. If you notice, I'm just dipping the roller directly in the bucket and then kind of shaking it off and then doing kind of a half lip to make the joint compound stick more to the roller than a big chunk to fly off. You'll get the hang of it after you dip it and go a couple times. I do get a lot of questions if you can use the roller texture and then paint it without skim coating it. And the answer is yes, that can be a texture. I've had to match that on walls before. I'm going to go ahead and speed up this roller part because you can still see exactly how I'm applying the joint compound to the ceiling. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. My name's Paul and I've been a drywall and painting contractor for over 25 years. If you're looking to step up your drywall, texturing or painting game, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification to get alerted whenever I post a new video. All right, so let's wipe this down. I'm basically just going over it with a light touch, minimal pressure, just kind of even it all out, seeing if everything's covered real good. Now you're going to have to corners, pay special attention to the corners, especially on each side of the room and at each end of the room. Just go around with a little bit of joint compound on my knife, keeping it real thin, trying not to get it on the wall. So again, yeah, I'm just doing the corners, making sure not to go down on the walls, and then I just wipe it back down. You're going to end up with a half a pan full of joint compound after you do all the wiping down. What I'm doing is I'm applying pressure to the right side and no pressure on the left side. That makes the lines go away. People wonder how you get a nice slick finish. That's how you do it. You don't have any lines to begin with or very minimal where you can just scrape them down. And for the record, I will not be doing any sanding on this ceiling whatsoever. I'm going to be doing a skip trial texture and that'll be coming up in a video where I show you how to mix the texture and also how to apply it on this ceiling. I'm going to go out a little bit further and go ahead and hit these corners since I have some mud in my pan. And then I'll get back to rolling out the joint compound on this small section. Now I'm just going to even out where I just applied the joint compound on this section. I want you to notice how I'm applying pressure to the left side and lifting slightly on the right. That's how there's not a line as I'm going. You only see the line on the left side. So if you can practice that, you can get really good at skim coating or finishing drywall. Let me know in the comments what kind of drywall project you're working on. Again, I'm just paying special attention to these corners. You want those to be nice and crisp when you go to texture and then paint. All right, so here's that section of the ceiling that I skim coated. Again, it's probably about a three foot by five foot. All right, let's do another section of this ceiling.
going to wipe it down just like I did the other section. I do have a couple obstacles like the ceiling fan and also the AC duct. No big deal. Just go right around those. It's nice when you can just take a long walk down your walk boards and skim coat the whole time. I'm applying pressure to the right and lifting on the left. That's why you can see the line being formed on the right side. And in case you missed it at the beginning of the video, I'm using a 14 inch drywall taping knife and mud pan. I'm using USG plus three joint compound and an inch and a quarter roller cover that I'm applying the joint compound with. I'll leave a link to my Amazon influencer store in the description below to where I have all the tools I used in this video and all my other videos. As you can see, this technique goes pretty quick to skim coat a ceiling. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Here's the section that I just completed. Like I said, I love doing this process with the paint roller. It really speeds things along. I think you'll like it too. So I'm gonna do the next section with the roller. Same as I did before, just get it up there and roll it out and get it all consistent. And yes, you are seeing some yellow on this ceiling. I'll leave a link in the YouTube card above and you can click on that and check out why. Let me know in the comments if you're a DIYer, contractor, painter, just kind of curious. Again, pressure on the right side of the knife, lifting slightly on the left. We don't want any lines, if at all possible. Just want to wipe it smooth. Knock down any edges where you're going to be going over it again with the skin coat on the final section. Once this is dry, you can take your uh, six inch taping knife and go around and scrape any of those high edges from the texture. All right, here's the final section. I'm gonna roll it out and then skim it out and this ceiling will be complete. Probably used about three quarters of a bucket of joint compound for this entire ceiling to be skim coated. Again, you just wanna roll it out and then you'll get it all nice and consistent after you go over it a few times, once you have all the compound up on the ceiling. Gonna skim out this final section, work on the corners a little bit. Lots of footage on this project, so you want to be sure to hit that bell notification and the subscribe button if you already haven't to be able to see those videos.
All right, so I'm on the other side here where I have to do the corner like I did on the other side of the room. Just want to put a light coat over that. You don't want to pile it up. You definitely don't want to go right where the wall meets the ceiling and pile that up or you'll see it after you paint potentially, especially if you're going for a smooth ceiling. The skip trial texture is pretty forgiving, but if you're going smooth, you definitely want to pay even extra attention to the corner. Leave me a hashtag drywall tube if you've made it this far in the video. And there's the ceiling skim coated. I know you can do this if you put your mind to it. So get to it. Let me know what you got going on. And if you want to catch the next video or any of my upcoming videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button now in the center of the screen to keep up with all my videos. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll leave some of my most popular video links down below in the description. Thanks so much for watching.